Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, we're gonna be continuing with the scene from the tailspin, uh, but I wanted to continue uh, to make a whole scene out of the TV show with the pier and the buildings in the back. So if you didn't watch the last part, uh, you can find a link in the description uh, where you can see how I modeled the airplane. So let's get to it. Now, first, first of all, uh, I want to get uh, rid uh, of everything else uh, beside the airplane, so we can start fresh. So um, I'm gonna hide the CDAC layer here, or the collection rather, and uh, just select all and delete that. And we can go to to the solid view, and we don't need this collection as well. So I'm gonna delete it. There's some leftovers. Okay. And right now uh, I want to reset the CDAC to its original position. So I will press Alt R to reset the rotation and Alt G to reset the position. And we can hide it uh, and continue without the airplane. And we'll just uh, position it later in the scene. So uh, let's start with the buildings. Um, I, I will start with the base here and continue with the tower and the buildings around it. So yeah, the diorama will be 8x8 eight eight, uh, again. I will have to make it fit into the uh, into this space. But let's not worry about that right now. And let's just start uh, with the base and block out the scene, basically. So I can grab this on the z-axis by one, and that'll place it exactly on the pivot point. And right now I can just move this and scale it a bit. And let's scale it on the X. And if you hold the control, you can snap it. And let's snap it to the eight. Uh, eight squares so that way we know that's the maximum width of the scene and let's move it on the Y let's look at the top yeah and we need to change this to increment and right now the snapping will work. Okay. And I think um, this will be up until like a half, a half of the scene, uh, the base itself. Maybe, oh, maybe not so much, but it'll be a little bit challenging to fit the tower and the buildings there as well as the airplane uh, beside the pier and make it fit on, on the square. So I think I'm gonna make this smaller, like this. And we can lower this a little bit. Um, that's the basic block for like the ground. And right now we can start adding uh, blocks for the buildings and I can again grab this on one to have the pivot point uh, on the bottom and I can enable the face snap and snap it right here and let's yeah switch this to medium um, let's make this smaller Yeah, I can. I think this could work. So let's grab this up. Yeah, and it'll be a little bit smaller on the top. Maybe not so high. Okay, and there will be some some roof. And uh, we'll need some uh, small house down here. And I can just duplicate this and grab it on Y axis. 
and make it smaller. Probably. Yeah, and there will be some roof too. We can just make it like this uh, for for the blocking out purposes. And there will be one more. We can just uh, rotate this one, grab it. Uh, by pressing G and then Shift Z to lock it uh, on the horizontal axis. Yeah, make this smaller. Okay. And if you look at that, uh, I think it's quite similar, but this is too short. Um, maybe. So drag this out a little bit. And this is probably too tall. It's like the triple the size of this. Oh, so basically it's not not so much, not too tall after all. Yeah, and we can maybe... And now if we slice it a little bit we can extrude this yeah I'm not, I'm not sure about the scale right now um, we will have to we'll have to play play around that a little bit wooden construction here construction of the pier. And another one. Okay. And maybe let's activate the C duck here as well. And Let's position it somewhere. Uh, it'll, it'll need to be much, much smaller. Okay, so we need to have the wing here. Yeah, maybe this will need to go a little bit shorter here so we can move the airplane more. Okay, I think um, this is the layout, the basic layout we will need. If we look closer, maybe this can be moved a little bit here. And uh, we need to make this smaller as well, a little bit. Maybe it would work like this. Yeah, but right now we are over the eight squares. Okay. Yeah, this could work. And if we look from here, and I need to disable the the blueprints that were on the 
airplane. I think this could work as a diorama. At least it's a good starting point. So, let's continue with the buildings. Okay, now we can start with the um, underlying structure here. And I think the best approach uh, would be just uh, insert this a little bit. Yeah, no, um, no, let's do it manually. We don't have to be too precise. So um, when you see me sliding the edges like this or vertices, I just always press the double G and it locks uh, on the edge. And we can do this here as well. So we have a, we have a nice shape there. I like to have uh, this like non-uniform shape here. And we can move this a little bit further. And let's start with the first house. We can hide this. Press the period to focus on this. And we can maybe uh, enable the isolation view with the slash numpad. And we can delete this. We don't need those. And let's just shape the building. Yeah, what I did there, uh, I just pressed Alt M on the vertices and merge them at center. And right now we can create some uh, um, some triangles here. Okay, and the base of the building is uh, a little bit smaller. And we have this like um, cartoon distortion on the building here. Yeah, um, let's do it with the knife. So we have a split here as well. So just look from the front, press K for a knife. Do a cut here, but press uh, C to go straight and Z to cut through and confirm with enter. So we have a nice cut there. And we can now collapse this a little bit. Yeah, maybe maybe one more cut. So again, And we can select this loop here and extrude it along normals. Yeah, and uh, I'm doing this selection with the uh, I'm adding to selection with shift and then by holding control I'm able to select like the connected faces on the way and let's extrude this okay and we can uh, we can probably we can probably distort this some more so let's enable proportional editing with O, with the smooth curve, and let's drag this out a little bit, and maybe a little bit up as well. 
so it has this nice distorted shape and I don't want uh, this one to be extended so, f so far in the front okay and let's make some door here yeah it's pretty um, pretty basic stuff around here so yeah, just extrude this a little bit inside And now we could, um, let's press Shift D, to duplicate this face, enter, and P for separation. And if you confirm with the enter, you create a new object. And it's it has a same pivot point as the object before, but uh, it contains only the separated face. And we can move it to the front a little bit. And then what you can do is press I for inset, make this smaller, control I and delete the new faces. So we have a little bit inset there and we can extrude the door. And what we can do next is separate this. Yeah, we can do two cuts or rather just do one and then press ctrl B for beveling and then we can insert these two and extrude them a little bit inside okay and one more thing um, we can select uh, these edges and again, Shift D to duplicate, P to separate, select the new object and give it a skin modifier. And if you watched some of my previous video, you know by now that uh, this is one of my favorite tricks. And we can grab these two vertices down a little bit. And we can select these two. Oh, sorry, not this one, but this. And again, duplicate and separate. That created this cube seven object. And if we go inside, we can now connect them and create the edges. And make a skin modifier here as well. But first I have to mark uh, this vertex as root as well. Yeah, and now just select the vertices, control A to change the vertex radius. Yeah, and uh, we have a nice wooden door. Now there's a little window here. So look. Yeah, so it's uh, basically on the level where the roof starts. So we can do it like this. And then we can... Move these. Scale them on the X to zero. And that's a pretty nice way for aligning. We look from the front. Yeah, I think this will work. So let's extrude this a little bit upward. Inset and extrude inside. Okay, and one more thing, um, there is some wooden piece here or something like that, so let's just add a cube, make it smaller, grab this out, yeah, 
and you can always make it a little bit more organic because on the on the image it's a little bit distorted too yeah and we can maybe make some other adjustments to make it less uniform and that will be basically the theme uh, the theme for the whole work here I can bevel these with Control B and then pressing V for vertex and we can maybe chip away this if you press V you will separate the vertex and then you can close it up like this okay works fine in my opinion and uh, let's maybe do some adjustments here as well and there is a uh, one other way how you can uh, chip away from uh, low poly structures you can just bevel this with ctrl b then pressing v to make a standard bevel uh, then you can double g these to move them but you see there is uh, like one plane created and it doesn't make sense uh, because uh, the render engine uh, will triangulate that anyway but if you want to clean that up uh, you can delete the face and just make two new ones and now you have a nice little chipped wood here so that's always a nice touch to these kind of uh, scenes I want to support like the feeling that it's a wooden barn First of all, uh, I want to finish the roof by dragging these out a little bit, so extrude along normals. Okay, and we can add some pillars here. So we just select these edges. Duplicate that and apply a skin modifier there and again we need to select the bottom vertices and make them root okay now select all with A and control A to change the radius and maybe select the top one and drag them up a little bit so they are connected to the roof okay I think it's a nice that's a nice barn. If you look at the image, uh, there are some other windows here. And um, like a uh, roof over the wood or something like that. So uh, let's finish those. I think we can insert this. Yeah, we will need to make a cut. We can drag this up. And we'll need to insert these individual. Yeah, 
okay just like that now we can scale them on the y but select the individual origins scale them like this you can extrude Okay, and let's make that small wooden roof. So we can add a cube, scale it on the Z. And Maybe we'll do planks. So give it an array modifier and we'll just 1.1 1 .1 will be enough and just make several copies. And we can apply this, move this in the edit mode now if we rotate on the Y we can complete that little roof and yeah I want, want to give this a little bit of a random look so we can yeah, let's look from the top let's use the knife again so C and Z cut through and now we can select some vertices, enable proportional editing with uh, random, fall off, and just play around a little bit. Nothing too, too crazy. Just make it a uh, little bit, little bit non-uniform. Yeah, okay. And right now we can we can borrow some vertices like this for instance make a duplicate and then just connect those select all extrude down scale on the z-axis and the turn off proportional editing, scale on the Z, and drag a little bit down, and we can always make it smaller, like this. Okay, now I want to add some planks here as well um, because the building is from uh, wooden planks but um, I'm not going to do uh, texturing here this is a purely low poly scene with the materials and but I really want want it to look like uh, it's a wooden structure but again if I did um, all the planks I don't know it might be too detailed or something. I, I want to have that little uh, stylized look. So, um, yeah, we'll just borrow another plane from the structure. Scale it. Yeah. I think this is okay already and we can give it a solidify modifier so we don't have uh, much of a geometry there and I want to set the origin to the center of the mass so it's in the middle of the plane so when we rotate it, it rotates correctly and I just want to 
duplicate a few of those here. And make them go a little bit inside to the building. And now this way you can have uh, like a stylized look that this is a wooden structure, but you don't have to uh, do all the planks, if it makes sense. So. Okay, I think this will be ready. And maybe there should be uh, some planks on the roof as well. Yeah, but here we can maybe split this up. I think here we can maybe separate the roof from the building because I don't want to have uh, too much complex geometry where we don't need it really. Yeah, so um, I have an idea. Um, let's just select all of those. all of the top faces of the roof. Let's duplicate and separate those. So again, slice these. I'm using Control R to make, make a cut. Okay. And we can now bevel these and the new beveled faces we can just delete so delete the faces now if we select all and the last thing we need is a solidify modifier I think that will be enough let's go negative size and yeah we have uh, some planks here. I think it's time to move move to uh, another building. Okay, now we can exit the isolation mode uh, with the slash again and focus on the tower. Let's press Alt H to unhide and yeah, well. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Apply the scale with Control A. And there will be not very much details on the tower. Uh, there are some planks as well. And the wooden construction has to be seen. But uh, there's only one door uh, on the balcony. So that should be pretty easy. Yeah, so um, let's make the wooden structure. Can again copy these. And give it the skin modifier. Mark 
root okay and we can make the balcony so for example you can slice this mark the place where, where the balcony will go and then we can just duplicate and separate make face and scale it up and since we don't need the cut on the original building we can just select this and dissolve the edges now okay now with the edge dissolved uh, we can continue with the planks so just shift click the cursor here and add a new plane let's scale it down scale it on the x okay give it a solidify let's give it a minus thickness and right now we can enable snapping with shift tab and with the face active and align rotation and project individual elements we can just grab it along and make duplicates with all D. Uh, I made this uh, down here too, so uh, all the planks are like uh, copies. So it will be really easy to apply um, the materials. Okay, we can do this here as well. And what you have to realize is that uh, for this isometric illustration, this will be uh, the visible part here. So, yeah, uh, you don't need to uh, go too crazy about these details and I think uh, this will be enough now we can create the door and yeah just select this face and set it and scale yeah well don't scale it because if you scale on the X it will deform so you want to uh, slide this up but don't forget to disable snapping okay and bring this up and now you can align these on the X Press scale x zero, scale x zero, and you have a nice cut on the door, and you didn't have to slice the geometry in any way. If we look at it. Yeah, it's a, it's a very simple frame there. So let's make a frame. Maybe we can scale it up a little bit. Okay. Let's make a frame and set this. Yeah, and we can duplicate this. Select the new face. Cut it a few times. Now with the new cuts, you just can level them, delete the faces. Yeah, and extrude out. And you can always bevel the extruded faces. So now we have a nice quick door. And we can continue either with the roof or with the balcony. 
So maybe let's let's make a balcony. Um, this will be visible uh, from the top view. So maybe we'll put some planks there as well later. But uh, right now I want to make uh, want to make the frame, frame and the railings for the balcony. And easiest way will be again just duplicating the whole object. We don't need the face, so delete only faces, and we still have uh, edges. And we can cut this four times for each for each side. And now you can extrude. And to make a support structure, we will need just to extrude some vertices. So maybe let's select these or maybe rather these one. Yeah. And extrude them down. Now Again, we will need the faces, so select all and delete all the faces. And we won't need these edges as well, so select them, delete the edges. And right now you can merge at center for each of these pair. Center. Okay. And now we can select them and just scale them out a little bit. But we need to switch from individual origins to the medium point. Yeah, select them again, scale them out. Okay, and maybe bring them up a little bit. And now, guess what? Just add the solidify, sorry, not solidify, but the skin modifier. Select all and control A to scale. Right. And to make it more interesting, you can always select some of those. And uh, Enable the proportional editing and go a little bit crazy here so it's not so uniform. And we can have a look what the decimate modifier will do. Yeah, I really like that much more. So, yeah, bring the decimate modifier to somewhere like 0.11. That's because I didn't really like the corners on the skin modifier. And right now with the, some of that randomness we did and with the decimate, I think it's, uh, it looks like a nice wooden structure. And it took like a two minutes to make, so um, that's great. And the last thing we need to make this floor a bit more interesting but I don't know I I want to have a solid background there so there are nice shadows when we look from the top so let's just modify it once more and go to the edit mode and the same drill uh, let's split this make a bevel and delete the faces. Yeah, and right now you can have planks there. But um, there won't be won't be anything coming through uh, because there is a plane under them. 
so there will be nice uh, dark shadows there. So yeah, that's why I did that. And maybe let's enable snapping again and do some more planks here. Now a little bit smaller maybe. Okay, now for the roof. Uh, yeah, and I think we forgot something. Oh yeah, because they are connected to the roof. So uh, we need a really a little bit larger overlapping roof. So let's borrow this face here. We can delete the face. We don't need that again. I'm oh, sorry, but delete only faces. That's the important thing to do. And scale it up. Right, I think this will be okay. And if we extrude this, scale it. I don't want to merge it yet here, uh, because then if you merge it, you lose the ability to make cuts there. So don't merge it yet. And yeah, now we can make that face. Uh, maybe insert this a little bit. And uh, turn off the editing. Oh yeah, so that's why it's uh, a little bit distorted. <laughs> there was still the random proportional editing on. So um, right now we can make that face set a little bit extrude yeah, and bring it here oh maybe not so much okay sorry and bring this down and again it's distorted um, but I think there was again snapping on, so last attempt, I promise, okay now, now it's fine. And we can bring it down, let's look from the top how this will look, yeah it's okay. I love when the scene starts to come come to life and this uh, really starts to look really nice. Okay, and the last thing... You know what? Uh, let's forget about these faces for now. I think there they would only complicate things in this stage and Let's divide this a few times, so there is uh, always one in the middle, so it's nine cuts, I think. Okay. Right, and now I want to select every other I know there should be some something like uh, checker the select. Maybe we can try that. It could work when we select it all and checker the select. Oh yeah, that's nice. It works. Okay, and now just scale some of these. So we have. Uh, nice structure to this yeah and we need to modify this a bit ok 
Okay. Yeah, and maybe I won't close this up at all. I'll just make a face there. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, so let's make a face there. Scale it down a little bit. Okay. We can snap a cursor there and use it to create a cylinder, but with only six vertices, scale it down. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab this out. So we can have a uh, I don't know how it's called, but it uh, shows the direction of the wind. Yeah, and uh, we need these uh, support structures there as well. And maybe this should be a little bit larger. Yeah, don't worry about the disconnection there. Um, if you want to be, sorry, let me add the solidify here. If you want to be obsessive about it, um, you can always just extrude this and like uh, make some structure there. But it um, doesn't really matter from this view. Okay, and right now, yeah, we can just select these corners. Um, duplicate them. Let's, uh, Let's cancel this decimate modifier there. Let's select all the vertices. Bring them closer. A little bit up. Extrude down. Yeah, and uh, mark root. Okay. Now if we scale them, we can nicely connect them to the rest of the structure. And we can bring them down a little bit. Yeah, I think this looks perfect. Okay, so uh, that's for the tower. Uh, maybe we should finish uh, this part here as well. Um, yeah, so uh, it won't be much. Let's just make a circle here. Yeah, circle. Let's give it like 12 segments. Bring it down. Okay. Now we will need to rotate this on the X 90 degrees. Um, and extrude on Y. scale this maybe we can compare the scale could be it can be bigger so it's a nice it'll be nice detail there yeah and um, let's make some cuts enable proportional editing the smooth fall off. Yeah, now we can play with the rotation here. Uh, 
let's enable the displace modifier give it a new texture edit here and select the clouds texture and we can go back to the modifier and reduce the strength now one last thing um, we can duplicate this ring and um, yeah we could give it a solidify modifier um, yeah we can or rather skin modifier yeah. okay and right now I'll just move it in place Okay, that's for the tower and there's a uh, one little building one additional building here and it's basically very similar uh, to this one if you have a look here it just doesn't have windows so I will cheat a little bit here and I will take this building And duplicate it. Rotate on the Z 90 degrees. Scale it down. And move it there. And now what we really need to do is just um, make a door. Sorry, uh, make a door a little bit more inside maybe not so so wide okay and there's no window so we could either delete that or or leave it like this yeah I think it uh, really doesn't matter that much at this point and maybe we could um, you can always select it all and edit all at once so if we enable proportional we should be able to affect all of these okay not really ah okay I know why because you have to select at least some of the vertex from the other object Okay, and I need uh, this one as well. Okay. And this one. Let's just move it a little bit. So it's not totally same. And We can always just delete these faces, cover the hole, and it's done. Okay, so that's uh, for the buildings, and we can finish the ground here and move to the wooden pier. Then we'll add water, and that'll be it, basically. <laughs> 